So what are we doing, Paul? Well, we've just finished recording a new album, which will be... When will it be? Out? Soon. Soon. Very soon. On CD and other formats. Other streaming formats. Other streaming formats. But you can pay for it if you want. Yes, please do. Yes. Um, we've recorded uh, an album of guitar and piano duets, influenced by the likes of Bill Frizzell. There's some really nice albums that we both sort of grew up listening to. Uh, independently of each other, I will add. Yeah. Um, obviously, I mean, the most important ones are probably the, the Bill Evans and Jim Moore albums. Uh, but also, there's a really nice one, uh, Bill Frizzell with Fred Hirsch. Yeah, which is beautiful. And the one you introduced me to a few, uh, six months ago, the. What's that? Uh, Julia Large and Fred, Fred, Fred Hirsch. Yeah, yeah absolutely beautiful amazing, stuff. Absolutely beautiful. Because uh, piano and guitar people, I mean, I don't know, people always seem a bit scared by that, but I, I really enjoy it because of the the harmonic possibilities of both instruments can accompany. That's right, which is wonderful. Um, and the possibilities are endless. It's probably my favourite format, really, playing with a duo, because there's so much scope yeah. for, for where will the music take us, you know? Exactly, yeah. What we've tried to do, uh, sort of, not just specifically on this recording, but with this, uh, with our duo, is to sort of try to get away from the head solos, head thing, and perhaps in a way, although our material is fairly contemporary sounding, uh, go back to kind of the original spirit jazz, which was collective improvisation. So there's not really well, there's a couple of tracks where I, I'm obviously soloing, you're obviously yeah, soloing. but uh, at the times it's kind of it's like um, chamber music in a way, isn't mm. it? We're trying to improvise at the same time, aren't we? So there's not. Yeah. There's a couple of tracks, isn't there? I think we've done. Well, it's a bit more standardy, sort of. Standard. Yeah. But generally, we're kind of we're improvising. Counterpoint. Counterpoint. Oh, did that A-level music? That's scary. Man. There are consecutive fifths. <laughs> well, there are consecutive fifths at some point. So <laughs> sorry for the purists. Yeah. Yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> called for poo. For poo, yeah, for, like Mas to... for Masabumi uh, Kikuchi, a uh, Japanese pianist but of New York origin, has lived there for many years. Played with Gil Evans and in the Pomotian. Not motion? It's all good. It's all good. Uh, played with him for years. Uh, well, a wonderful pianist, sadly died. And then we also, me and Sam, just before we started to do the recording a day or two ago, we found out that uh, John Taylor had padlet, sadly passed away, didn't we? So, yeah, and he was a massive influence on us as musicians. Wasn't yeah, he? yeah, yeah. I mean, we saw him do a solo concert yeah, a couple of months ago, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we saw him do that in York. Fantastic. York. I did a, you know, I was at Guildhall studying there, and, and he came in and did a lot of workshops with us. He's one of the great British jazz musicians. I think you know there is yeah. a, there is a sound to British jazz, uh, and I think he was one of the people that, that defined it. So. So we played uh, the Touch Her Soft Lips and Part, which which was a William Walton tune that he played with his trio and set us up a tribute at the end. Just a little thing at the end, really, just a nod. Such an influential pianist on so many people. Oh, yeah. and on so yeah. many people, and had such a unique voice, didn't he, on the instrument? Absolutely.
Especially for us, mm. yeah, for us to play really. There's a few others that haven't made it actually on the album. Which yeah, just explore yeah, at some yeah. point again. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Well, there's a, a tune called Belly Out, mm-hmm. which is which is a tune that we can we explore quite a lot. Yeah. Um, what else is on there? There's a ballad for for Pooh. Yeah, the the um, the, t- the s- title title of the album uh, yeah. as well, like Open House, which is a and that was one where we again there's there's no sort of discernible. Solos. No. I say it's all a solo. I mean, it's, there's a written tune, and then then we just sort of go. And there's, so I think some really nice things came out of that. Just yeah, sort of, it's very contrapuntal, isn't it? I was chamber mm-hmm. music. We're passing ideas around, and yeah, yeah. Like I say, it's not head solo. And you get the, but in so doing, you get these really nice little serendipitous moments. It doesn't always come together. When it does, it's it's amazing. And, and yeah, if we hit the same note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's one bit where we kind of end up in thirds, don't we? Playing yeah. the same thing, and that's. That's pretty amazing. Then, of course, the, the challenge is when you come to play it live is to not try and recreate that. You've got yeah. to let that go. I like the, uh, the second tune we put on it was uh, Mysterioso by Thelonious Monk. It's just it's a blues. It's just a, it's a, it's a B flat blues on top of my head. Yeah, I think so. Um, we just set up. We just set up and sounds yeah. like should we play it. Yeah. Just as a warm up, really. We were planning on, on recording it better again. That one came out really well. Yeah, so we just made sure that. Nice, open, very sort of tunes. Yeah, it? yeah. And the ch- monk's tunes are great. And so, that, yeah. yeah, that was the first thing we did. So it's nice that it's on there. Yeah. Hey. 